Hey guys, welcome back to another Airsoft kit video. This one's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to fit anything in this video. What we're going to do, we're going to talk about quite a hot topic from this week. So yes, you probably knew this was coming if you are part of the UK Airsoft community who is on any kind of social media, uh, and that is Jewel Creep. So just to clue those in who aren't kind of who don't have their finger on the pulse for this kind of stuff. So this week there have been a couple of fairly notable um, airsoft sites which have decided they're going to take a dislike against HPA. So rather, what they've actually done is they've said we're going to lower the limits for HPA users. So that's kind of okay. Um, and it kind of shows an appreciation of dual creep and the, the difference um, when using different weighted BBs. But what it does is it's actually a pretty bad implementation. So I'm not going to name the sites exactly, but one site has turned around and said for a normal um, AEG, for a normal rifle, which is a 350 FPS with a 0.2 limit, they're going to drop HPA users down to 320. Another site, I believe, has done fairly similar to that as well, and they and they've kind of said, and their reasoning is that when you use a HPA, it just seems to hit harder, so they've dropped the limit down as well. So um, it's kind of good that sites are appreciating the differences between using a lightweight ammo and a heavyweight ammo and it's nice that they they are kind of starting to understand that but the the actual kind of the the theory the physics aren't there so what i'm going to do um i'm not going to say which way's right which way's wrong it's their site if they want to say 320 for all hpa users that's fine so let, let's just get something straight first and that's you can't chrono a 0.2 gram BB at 350 FPS without generating a joule reading. So they're all they're all linked. So the the weight of the BB, <coughs> excuse me, that's your weight. You have the speed of the BB. So obviously that's the velocity. That's how fast it goes. And combined they make the energy amount, which is your joule reading. So a 350 FPS traveling BB with a 0.2 gram weight it carries the energy of 1.14 joules. Now, that obviously changes. So if you go up a weight, then you don't need as much FPS to generate that same amount of energy. So that's kind of where this whole dual creep conversation is coming from. People are chronoing at 350 with a 0.2, and then they're dropping a 0.3 in, uh, and then they're, they're ending up about you know, what would be an equivalent of 280 FPS, they're chronoing, you know, I think for a for a 0.3, it's something like 275, where they should be to, to be an equivalent, and they, they're effectively chronoing up at about 290. So let's 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 dispel another myth straight away now, and that is that dual creep doesn't just happen on HPAs. Dual creep happens on HPA. And, and it happens quite often because HPAs are so overvolumed, and I'll explain why that makes a difference in a second. It happens on AEGs. If you've got an AEG and you've got a full cylinder or like a four-fifth cylinder and you've got some poncy little 120 mil barrel, it will be happening to you, so you're not innocent if you're watching this. And also gas blowback pistols, that kind of thing. So they're not as bad because the gas tends not to run as strong enough, and the amount of gas they let through isn't quite enough sometimes, but it will happen, it can happen. So let's just have a look at the theory behind where it goes. I'm sorry if we get a lot of rattling. So I'm going to start with a 0.2 gram BB. So for, for the purpose of this demonstration, I'm going to try and keep this really quick for you as well. For the purpose of this demonstration... This is your barrel. This is your inner barrel, and this is your BB, and your BB travels down your inner barrel. Now, let's just assume my inner barrel's 300 mil in length. And the reason I picked that is just it's a round number. So, when we're shooting a HPA gun, your 0.2 gram BB is ready to go. It's in your hop, it's loaded. HPA, you pull the trigger, it goes poof, right? So this puff of energy comes up. Because this is a lightweight projectile, it travels down the barrel. So this is expanding, it's coming out. And this lightweight um, projectile has left the end of the barrel before this has finished coming out. So that's called overvoluming as well. So you've got more air, more capacity than what your barrel holds. So you are overvolumed. Ideal setup, you have as much here as what you do down here. But that's what happens. So this lightweight BB doesn't actually get to take full effect of everything which is here. So everything now, which expands, is wasted energy. That's where people like 
you know, your Polar Star Jack users, your, your F2 users, your Wolverine people. That's where, when you see them in Safe Zone and they're sitting there going, oh, my dwell's not quite right. That's what they're doing. They're turning their dwell down so that this puff finishes when their projectile leaves the barrel. That's the most efficient setup you can get. So, if we say this puff of energy is 100 PSI, let's just keep round numbers, right? Starts expanding, boom, 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 BB leaves, and we've now got maybe, again, round figures, 25% wasted energy. Okay, at that, you're chronoing fine. We then put a heavier BB into our mag. This is where dual creep happens. So same setup, it's the same barrel, it's the same pressure. All we've done is we've just swapped out, we've just refilled our mag with threes rather than twos. So what happens now is you pull that trigger, poof, right? It's a heavier projectile, so it needs a little bit more to get it going. It's a heavier projectile, so it needs a little bit more to push it down this barrel. And then lo and behold, by the time you get to the end of the barrel, this is fully extended. So all of your energy has now gone into the behind that BB and the BB's left. So you have effectively what is an efficient setup because you're running these threes. You're dwell set perfect for a three. So by the time all of that, that chamber of air has let has, has kind of opened out, has left you know, your engine and, and gone behind the BB, the BB's just leaving the end of the barrel. So there's no wasted energy. That's what happens with dual creep. People chrono to a certain level using point twos. And then they go and chuck threes in, and they're shooting hot, and everyone starts screaming that HPA users are ripping people apart. Really, HPA users should be aware of this, and they should be doing things correctly. They should be going to Chrono and saying, hey, I'm using threes. You need to Chrono me at whatever the, the relevant weight is for a three. You don't have to quote jewels. What you can do, there's a nice little app on Android. Uh, and what it does is you go into the app here and it's called the airsoft velocity calculator we go into velocity calculator and we'll say hey i'm i've just chronoed through at 275 and i've used a 0.3 gram bb boop 1.5 joules that's an equivalent of 336.8 fps so do you know what that's fine that's safe to use so the reality of that then is if i were to chuck a two in if I could throw a 2 into this, that should be 336. Bang. But we know it's not because the BB's left, because the BB's too light to take account of that extra, that extra kind of last bit of, of uh, kind of air, if you want, that last bit of chamber volume. So at that point then, this 0.2 reading will probably be about 320, which is fine. So that, that brings another thing is the limit is a limit. The limit's not a target. That's don't go higher than this, mate. So it, it's kind of a it's kind of a two-part issue. Is you've got one, you've got the sites who just don't understand it and who would rather just put some blanket nonsical bloody limit on for everybody and ruin everybody's day. And then you've got some players who don't understand it well enough or are choosing to kind of abuse that. If you were a little bit unscrupulous and you went to a site and they said, hey, it's 350 on a 0.2, and you go, but I'm HPA, and they go, no, it's fine, mate, right? If you're that HPA user, you know you're gone. You should have it up there because you've spent so much time tuning it and getting it right to know that actually, mate, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to chrono on my three, and then I'm going to get 270, and then when you put me through on one of your twos, and you're going to go, oh, that's 336, mate. You can go a bit higher if you want to. You're going to go, actually, no, I'm, I'm good because I understand the jewels. So it's not about schooling the guys when, when you're there either. It's just about you understanding it well enough as a player to know where your limit is. Now, if sites want to impose harsh rules, if they want to go, it's 320 with a 0 0.2, fine. You, you've got two options. Go and chrono at 320 with a 0 0.2 and just let you go and creep up to whatever you want it to. Or you as a player, get your chrono. Because if you're a HP player, you've probably got a chrono. Most people have got a chrono. Go and chrono on a 0.3. Make sure you're happy with that. Make sure you're happy that the equivalent value of that 0 0.3 is it an equivalent to 320 FPS with a 0 0.2? Then when you go and chrono with a 0 0.2, like the site dictates you should, you're going to be under anyway. 
So then that marshal who's got a dislike for you because you're running HPA anyway and you're giving his site a, a, a worse or bad name than what he has because of the bollocks that he's been spurting, he'll go, oh, HPA player is not running on the limit. Yeah, you're cool with me, mate. That's what it's about. Dual creep's not rocket science. It's just easily misunderstood and visualization always helps. There are probably 89,000 people who could explain that to you in about a million and one words. But sometimes a visualization helps. It's to do with the, the voluming of it. You do get a thing called negative dual creep where if your volume isn't quite big enough, what you can actually do is you can actually end up chronoing at 350 on one of these and it being lower on there because you don't quite have enough puff to blow you three down the barrel. But n nobody... Under volume, huh? What? Doesn't matter. This isn't part of what the conversation is. So uh, I think I've waffled on for long enough. Thank you very much if you watched it this far. Sorry that this one is addressing kind of a, a genuine kind of airsoft community rant at the moment, but I just felt it was necessary. It was on my list to actually cover something to do with jewels and FPS. So uh, hopefully it was semi-useful. If not, thank you very much for your time. Hit that like button, drop me a comment, let me know what you think, and uh, hit that sub button. Catch you in the next one. Thank you.